number 13 then from paper 1 of the 2016 higher maths there you go 5 marks for your addition formula you've got the standard question where you've got two triangles and it asks for the sine or the cosine of some combination of those angles only this time it tells you the answer it actually wants you have to demonstrate you get this as the answer for the cos of q minus p well you could put the numbers into this triangle straight away or if you wanted you could separate them so there's the little p triangle, which is just 1 and 4. And then using Pythagoras in that, that would be 16 plus 1 is 17. So it's hypotenuse is root 17. And you've got the big triangle, which has got the q in it. That's 4, and this time that makes 3. So that's much easier for your Pythagoras, because you know it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And the first mark is for getting the lengths of these two. Next mark would be just expand that out. Well, really it means you're getting a mark for looking at the front. Cos Q, cos P, but plus, remember you check that to the front, sine Q, sine P. Select the appropriate formula. Second mark. Now you just feed in the bits and pieces. The cosine of Q is adjacent to it, so that's 4 over the hypotenuse, that's 4 fifths. The cosine of P is adjacent to the angle. Did I say angle there? I can't remember. So that's 4 over root 17, plus sine of q, the sine is opposite the angle, so that's 3 over the hypotenuse, 3 over 5. The sine of p is opposite the angle, so that's 1 over the hypotenuse, which is 1 upon root 17. Don't try and do any cancelling, because you want to keep the denominators the same. So they're both over 5 root 17. This part comes to 16, and this part comes to 4. Or you could call that 3, if you want the correct answer. So now you've got 19 over 5 root 17. Now that's not written in this form. You can see the difference between them is the required answer has got a rational denominator. But again, don't just jump from straight from there to there, because you're meant to demonstrate this. And that would just look as if you just copied that down without knowing what to do. So put in the working, which would be multiply the top and the bottom by root 17. And I've missed out some of the extra marks in between. The substitution here, not all of that was worth a mark. It said just getting two of these correct so far was a mark. And then getting the other two and putting them together to make this expression makes the second mark. So both marks were here, in fact. So that wasn't worth anything, but showing that you multiply the top and the bottom by root 17 would be the next mark, because after all, after that, you just end up with this. 19 root 17 over 5 times 17, which you can just copy down as 85, although of course it is 85. And if you want, you can always put as required. Won't get any marks for that. That was a nice, easy little 5 marker then.